Hi everybody, it's Acre here. Uh, really nice to see some of you folks on Friday and see your faces and sit and chat with you for a bit. Uh, I'm back home in Indiana and it's miserable and hot here and I'm probably miserable and hot in the desert as well. Um, there's been a, some confusion and some questions that have come in over the weekend and so uh, I don't normally send out videos sort of impromptu like this but it seems like maybe it would be quicker and easier for both you and me to um, for me to just send you out a quick video and you can view this and it'll answer uh, the questions that have come in so far. So before you do anything else stop this video and get the class site open you know minimize them so I'm looking at my my recording on one side and on the other side I've got the class site so uh, stop the video get the class site open so you're viewing the video and the class site together and then we'll talk okay so once you've done that you will go to the modules link okay uh, I noticed some confusion about where to go uh, again if you re if you if you watch the opening the welcome video in the week one lecture you'll know everything is in the module for the week you don't ever need to go anywhere else okay and if you're looking at the module for this week August 28th through September 5th you'll notice there uh, there's a bunch of stuff there you want to work top to bottom I arranged I've arranged the activities so that you start at the top and you work your way down don't go on to the next one until you've done the previous one otherwise you're going to get a flood of information that's going to be difficult to manage you have to manage this process I've done my very best to organize it for you but you have to manage it um, so first question before we start looking at this week's module click on modules uh, click on week one and you're going to see a whole list of information there so if you haven't found that yet stop the video get that window open so we can talk about it <clears throat> okay first thing deadlines a uh, couple of folks are saying you weren't aware that the semester started last Friday okay um, that's a fairly serious problem because there's there's that means that there's a whole bunch of information that you've missed somehow I mean no disrespect but somehow the information didn't get through to you let me explain the system when you registered for the class you would have seen in the schedule of classes a message in red ink that says you must access this class by last Friday whatever the date was 26th I guess you must access this class by the end of the day on Friday uh, yes the 26th okay so the college notified you of that I have also sent out at least a half a dozen reminders over the last uh, month really I've been getting ready for this class for a month and I've sent out at least a half a dozen reminders of that fact so if you didn't get any of that information there's a hole somewhere that you you need to fix immediately um, most likely you you're not looking at your MyCOD emails or um, you haven't set the MyCOD email to go out to some other email or whatever you want but remember all communication for this class takes place inside the College of the Desert system that's a legal requirement so uh, either inside of Canvas or inside the MyCOD email system um, so there's been if you weren't aware that classes started on Friday you've, you've somehow missed a lot of information and you'll need to figure out how to fix that like yesterday um, if you don't want to check your MyCOD email every day that's fine but you need to go in there and figure out how to sort that how to send that forward that out to your preferred email address which you can do quite easily okay um, so you you see week one activities you see English 002 welcome you see week one lecture you see the syllabus so let's look at well let's start at the top um, week one activities is kinda like a little mini schedule I'll make you a bigger more detailed schedule this week and get it out there for you <clears throat> next week sometime okay uh, someone was asking how you view the videos well uh, I can easily change that I, I'll, I'll call them videos but almost always the lecture if you go down three you see week one lecture 
almost always the lectures are going to be videos and if you've viewed the previous link English 002 welcome you will have that information but you see a little thing that looks like a, a chain link those are links out to something so uh, that's a relatively easy fix if, if it helps I'll go back and I'll designate it video so that you'll know it's a video but again if you start at the top and work to the bottom and view each link before you move to the next link you'll be fine if you're trying to rush through you can't remember this uh, you should be spending 12 to 15 hours a week on this class so don't try to rush through everything that's why I've organized stuff in this way for you okay uh, there was a question about the syllabus so if you go down four to the fourth one the syllabus is there for you you click on that link and I'm clicking on it right now uh, if you want to download and print the syllabus there's a blue hyperlink uh, up there it says download English 002 syllabus you click on that it'll it'll uh, create a word document that you can download and print if you want you don't need to but there's the entire syllabus again we went over this on Friday with the folks who were there but I know not everybody could make it uh, so there was some questions about the drop policies there were some questions about finding the syllabus. Well, the syllabus is under the link called syllabus in this week's module. You can find it elsewhere, but you never need to do that. It's always, 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 always going to be in this week's, in the week's module. And in fact, I will forward the syllabus forward each week. So it's going to be in every, every week's module. Okay, so pop open that syllabus, the little panda on the unicycle. Wait a minute and he'll produce the syllabus for you okay uh, if you go down a uh, little ways you see drop policy so there's where the policies about dropping students would be likely to be found and then if you read to the bottom of that paragraph you see the statement full information is at the link that follows and then some text underlined okay text underlined like that is almost always a hyperlink that links you out to some some other document so drop policies open the link there are the official college of the desert drop policies they're all it, it's in the syllabus it's linked out from the syllabus under drop policies which is where you you know intuitively expect to find it um trying to think there were two other questions uh, uh, submissions by email I absolutely cannot accept anything by email uh, I know you know I'm sitting here in my house all by myself you very likely are sitting at your desk at home by yourself but what neither of us sees is there are 80 students that that's eight zero students in this class 80 students and one of me I have to have everything in the same place or I simply will not be able to keep track of it all um, so please don't ask me if you can email me something because the answer is no you can't the answer is you need to go figure out why you can't access the link and I'm you know I'm perfectly happy to try to help uh, but you you've got to do it through through the link that was the other thing um, I knew there was something else okay so uh, if you're looking at the syllabus you see that the module has linked you out to the files link so you have to go back to the modules but again everything absolutely everything is in the module for the week you don't ever have to go anyplace else unless I make a mistake and I do once in a while okay so go back to the modules and we're going to go down now and talk about assignments and submitting assignments uh, that was the other thing okay um, for every assignment there will be an assignment sheet it's going to say assignment sheet and in that assignment sheet it's a document there which you can also download if you want to you don't have to download any of this stuff okay so if you open that assignment sheet for the information quiz that tells you go ahead stop the video click on that thing get it open and then come back let the panda do his thing uh, and you will see uh, 
exactly precise due dates, times, even an estimate about how long I think it takes most students to complete this assignment, uh, absolute deadlines, whether or not you can submit it late, and then if you go down just a little bit, to do the assignment you'll need to download it, fill in the answers, save it, and then upload it. Okay, if you can do Facebook, you can do this. It's exactly like Facebook. So this one you do have to download. So go back up there to where it says download assignment sheet in blue letters. Click on that. That will download it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. Open the thing. And then in this case, if you scroll on down a little bit, you see there are some questions. That's the actual assignment. Most of the time the assignment will not be attached to the assignment sheet. In this case it is. So you have to download this and then you'll be able to type onto it because it'll be a Word document. So you answer those um, questions there. There's another link. You see if you look at question 13 there's another link out to more data which you'll need to explore. Okay, so once you've uh, once you've filled in, once you've downloaded the thing, opened the document, filled in your answers, then you save it as whatever, it doesn't matter what you want to call it. Okay, but save it somewhere where you can get to it. Again, think about uploading a photograph to Facebook. It's exactly, exactly the same thing. Okay, so um, you can close that out, go back. Notice now you've gone out to files again. So you're going to have to go back to modules. I'm sorry this is a little bit clunky. I don't know why I can't control how the, the fact that this happens. Go back to modules and you're going to go back to week one module. Okay, and then you see the assignment sheet for the information quiz. It's one, two, three, four, five links down. Okay, immediately underneath the assignment sheet is the upload and it's always, always, always going to say upload. Uh, I've tried to figure out ways to make that bolder or in uh, different colored ink and I can't figure it out yet but there may be some way to do that. So you open that upload link and you will find a place to attach your file just like uploading a photograph onto Facebook. Okay and you upload, you, you attach your file and you click submit or complete. I don't remember what the button says but it, it's intuitive. You'll be able to figure it out. Uh, and upload it that way. Okay. Uh, there were the two things that were supposed to have been done by midnight last night and I'm going to be looking at those this morning uh, and, and responding to some of those. Okay. Um, something else I was going to say. Oh, uh, you, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple other folks were having trouble uploading stuff. Okay, uh, I have one answer to that and I only have one answer because I'm not a computer expert but you must use Microsoft Word okay and again if you if you see if you look at the the videos at the top uh, that's explained to you if you don't have Microsoft Word you have to get it and if you want it you can get it for free from the college um, and there's a, there's a place to download it uh, and you can download Microsoft Word on, I believe, up to seven devices. Okay, but your your uploads must be in Microsoft Word. That is, they must have the extension dot dot doc or dot docx. Uh, if you're not using Microsoft Word, you will not be able to upload. So, if you're not using Microsoft Word, that's why you can't upload your stuff. Okay. Uh, OpenOffice does not work. Uh, um, PDFs you can you you can't upload anything except a Microsoft Word document. Okay, um, and that allows and there's a reason for that. That allows me to interact with your document and write back to you and make comments for you and all that stuff, which I can't do with a PDF. OpenOffice won't even open, um, and so you have to do it that way. So. If you can't upload and you're not using Word, that's probably the problem. If you're using Word and it won't upload, then that's beyond my field of expertise and I, don't, I couldn't possibly diagnose what's wrong at your end because there could be a thousand things wrong. So 
what you need to do in that case is go way over to the left and down at the bottom there's a help button you click on that that'll take you to the canvas help people uh, and chances are they'll be able to talk you through it okay so upload it Microsoft Word uh, only uh, and get word if you don't have it I think that's if I'm remembering correctly those are all the questions that came in uh, that I wanted to kind of take the, the time to answer them uh, for you all, uh, all at once, to, which will save time for all of us. Uh, I do ask you again, uh, as I said in the video, use the general questions forum. If you scroll on down a little ways, you'll see a general questions forum. Uh, and if it's a question like, I can't upload my, my document, uh, it's not a personal question, it's just a, a, a technical question, put it there. I'll see it there sooner. I'll give you recommendations there quicker, and quite possibly one of your colleagues will be will know the answer and get to you more quickly than I can. Remember, this is a an invisible community. There are 80 of us, and we can't see each other, but we're there. So use the resources of your colleagues. You know, be in the forums, and be in the community, and things go a lot better. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to be working on the class today. I'm going to drop the students who haven't shown up and done anything. Uh, and I'll be adding some people from the wait list to the extent uh, that I've got room for them. Okay. Uh, so f the first thing I'll do is I'll go in and change the videos. I'll give them the title video and that will help you be able to find them. But again, if you work top to bottom, and if you don't rush, and if you complete one link before you start the next one, uh, it, it's very intuitive. Uh, and I work, I work very hard to organize this for you, but again, you have to manage it. Okay, so I uh, hope you're all going to have a good week. It was, again, great to see some of you in Palm Desert on, um, on Friday and see your faces and talk to you a little bit. Um, there's some other stuff that's due later in the week. Uh, and you will see when you go on down, you've got assignment sheet AN1. AN1 is a little assignment. The assignment sheet explains exactly what you need to do, about how long it will take you, what the point systems are, and so forth. And then once you've done that uh, in a Word document, then immediately below the assignment sheet is the upload where you're going to send that thing to me to for me to look at. Um, and the due date again is there I believe it's Monday let's see yeah um, almost everything this week being an exception but almost everything else uh, formal assignments will almost always be due by 1155 on Monday night okay so if you're new to online education you know don't panic don't freak out um, we'll work our way through it but if you're having, again, if you're having upload problems uh, and if you're using Microsoft Word, that's all I know. Uh, and so I won't be able to help any further than that. So you should you probably take control of the situation and get on to Canvas Help and let them talk you through it. They're the experts. Uh, and so let them do that. I'm going to get this thing out to you again. Normally I won't be sending out videos like this um, during a week. But it seemed to me it'd be quicker to answer the questions this way. Okay, have a great week, and I'll be looking. Uh, I'll be looking at some stuff uh, today. Bye.